If a mug could be a celebrity, this one would be on the cover of People. The Trigger Mug. We like to say that that's the mug that made mugs famous. And we've seen it in movies and we've seen it on television and things like that, so that's a lot of fun. Bennington Potters has a reputation that goes well beyond Vermont. Founded in 1948 by the late David Gill, the company sells more than 55,000 pieces of pottery every year. Even the Obamas have some. It's very practical, very durable, you know, lead and cadmium free, uh, vitrified stoneware. They have customers that come back to get a replacement and they got their first set 30 years ago. Gill's widow, Sheila Harden, is the company's CEO. She describes the ceramics as mid-century modern in style, made in large quantities by a small, highly trained staff. It's actually something that's modeled and made, and so it's always being handled, and so it feels good when you pick it up and touch it. Many of the employees here worked alongside Gill, who designed the pieces and created the glazes. Stuff doesn't burn, doesn't melt. And you don't feel that heat on the back Not of your hand? Not Nothing. Not up, right? Really? It's sprayed so on. it's the coating on it's the material. It's oh, coating on the material, precisely. Yeah. The kilns, which could fit a few small trucks, have a special fireproof coating once used on NASA rockets. These temperatures can reach 2,200 degrees. Harden says she's grateful Bennington Potters has stayed in town and expects this little company to keep thriving. We're putting the work name Bennington on all of our pieces that we send all over. I think we're a very Bennington company in terms of the fact that there are many other small single person started that have grown. Bennington Potter's stores are temporarily closed, but their pottery is available for purchase online. They say they are looking forward to reopening when the time comes. Despite the pandemic, Bennington still held its annual penguin plunge a few weeks ago, a dip in a local lake raising money to help fund summer camp programs for local kids. And that is Chronicle 4 tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Shana Seymour. We hope that you and yours are staying safe and healthy. Have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you back here on Monday night for another edition of Chronicle. Good night.